Um, guys, today is, was great. Still is great. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. And then we're going to take at least a week time out from this kind of this kind of nonsense that we don't really get yes, in April. Yes. Um, somebody sent me a picture on Twitter that was uh, a, a couple of years ago on the same day, and it was like there was snow. You know, it happens. <sighs> wow. Lest we forget. Yep. We've turned the corner mentally, though, that's for sure. 79 Portland, 82 in Sanford and Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Some 90s down across Massachusetts. We've now sea breezed pretty hard in a place like Portland at 63. 63 in a gunk with two. Sea breeze has made it all about to Lewiston. Uh, not quite as far across down East Maine. So Bar Harbor, 73. You can be happy at 73 in July in Bar Harbor. So that's pretty good. 75 in Bangor. And you can see that onshore flow. Look right there. See where those those uh, wind barbs come together. That's your sea breeze right there, just south of Augusta and then down here. So it's not uniform. There's less sea breeze over down East Maine. It's nice and sunny. It'll be clear tonight. We'll slowly go down into the 40s and a couple of 30s out there too by tomorrow morning. Central Northern Maine exclusive for those 30s. And tomorrow will be a transition day. It's not bad. We're in the upper 50s and low 60s. We start with sun. We end up with more clouds during the afternoon. And then I think tomorrow night is when we really start to change this pattern. We get more clouds. Temperatures are stuck in the 40s and we're cloudy through the day on Sunday with some isolated showers. It's not a wet day, but it's a little bit of a raw day, especially compared to where we've been the past few days. And we continue that theme into Sunday night and Monday with showers off and on. Notice the cloud deck is really quite consistent from Saturday night all the way through Monday here. And we go from scattered showers on Monday over to some more consistent rain on Monday afternoon. So even though we've got a lot of chances of showers, really the only consistent rain it looks like in the next week or so comes in Monday afternoon into Monday night right there with a the front coming through. But notice still a chance of showers on Tuesday and a couple of sprinkles on Wednesday. Upper level low stuck around gives us chances of showers up until probably Wednesday afternoon into Thursday. And then the models really disagree about late next week. So we will kind of table that for now. So this looks worse than it is. And upper level lows often do this. They show, the models show it, a bunch of showers. And then you just get a couple of sprinkles. Really Monday afternoon is the only period of time I see it actually raining. The rest is just a chance for a sprinkle, something to be aware of. And then we should clear out Thursday. And again, the models disagree on Friday, Saturday of next week. Some have us popping back into the 70s. Others keep us in the 50s. I am playing it cool right now in so many ways, guys, uh, at 54 degrees there. I don't think we're going to get it the second time, but we still got time. We'll okay. keep our fingers crossed. Yeah. Thanks, Keith.